All right, I am back, and I am playing Inga and Essica. Seems cool. Turns all of your creatures into mana dorks, only for other creatures. So I'm running all the uh, <laughs> one mana creatures, almost possible, and then I'm running a bunch of big stuff. So it's kind of like Azusa, where instead of, you know, Azusa being mono green and you have all these mana dorks, you would just run like all of these would just be like lands and you can play two a turn and then you're still looking to have something in hand. Um, this doesn't let me draw unless I already have something kind of big in hand. Uh, it doesn't have to be huge, but, you know, it could be like something like this. But for that reason, I have just a bunch of big stuff and a bunch of mana dorks. It seems hilarious. I've never seen anyone play <laughs> this commander before. And uh, why not? It's blue-green. I like blue-green. I get to play weird stuff. This card seems good, right? You have a Gaia's Cradle, sort of. Uh, actually, what's that other one? Lead the Stampede. Reminds me of Lead the Stampede. Which is actually not in here. It probably should be, because there's so many creatures, even though a lot of them are just, like, dead, useless one-drops. It's probably worth running in probably take out a land for it there are i mean all of my mana is just tied into creatures right we do have to get to four mana for any of this to matter um hopefully that's not a problem and if it does become a problem i'm gonna want to run mana rocks so i can get this out like even faster like all the two mana ones but for now i'm not doing that uh, let's take out an island and uh yeah i craft it i think yeah the old gin cataxias for this deck it's been a card on my mind, so it seems like the place to try it. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. Probably nothing good. This draws a ton of cards, right? There's so many creatures in the deck. Tender Shoot Dryad creates mana dorks if my commander is in play, which I like. Um, you can't... I'm not running the Biogenic Ooze because you need mana to like activate it in that kind of... Like, creatures don't help me with, uh, like, creatures don't, I can't use abilities, and you need, it's an ability, it's not a spell, so. These don't cost mana to create tokens, which is why I think they're ideal. Some of these big drops aren't great either, like, Carnage Tyrant is cool, I just don't get an excuse to play it a lot, but this seems like a place for it, just anything that costs six or more. <laughs> just throw it in. Um, so yeah, let's see how we do with all this nonsense. Like, comment, subscribe, and here we go. Oh no, it's Kenrith. All right. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe we can win. Uh, well, we have the one card in my hand that like wants me to run Snowlands. I basically have everything I could ask for, right? I mean, this is what I do. So, I oh well, no, I don't have a big creature. I don't have like a payoff for like you know this. All right. Never mind. Um, am I doing this? I probably am. Better do it now than, like, never do it, so. Ginger Brute's decent, I suppose. Mainly because I can cast it now, because I didn't have a second uh, island. I'm I'm not running explore or grow spiral. Not right not right now. All right, so I need to play this if I want to play my commander next turn. Actually, we can see what the hacker hits. Like I can loot away a mist caller. Okay. Does that change anything? No, not really. I think I'm just doing this now. Yeah. All right. So, in two turns, we get cool stuff. I can almost just cast this normally. <laughs> I can almost cast this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, okay. Pseudo ten. We'll get that eventually. Ten. 
Tender Shoe Dryad. It would be really nice to cast this and then something else, but I just can't. Yeah, I can't. I don't think I can not cast this, so. Alright. Well, they didn't kill my commander before I swung, so. Probably gonna kill the. Yeah, alright, that makes sense. I'm glad to see them use the treasures. I have really no use for that, so. No use for the mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is this some kind of combo deck? Five color combo Kenrith? I don't know what's going on. Mizzix Mastery seems pretty apparent. Uh huh. Okay. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so I can't cast everything. I think I'd prefer to cast this right now as opposed to... Yeah, I think this is the time. I'm not really... Yeah, this, this makes sense to me. That was also a pretty good draw. I don't see a reason not to just run it out. Not really, at least. Alright. There's no, like, guarantee Jinka Taxius does anything. I would like to kind of attack my opponent's hand instead of, like, drawing seven, like, end step this on my opponent's end step. I think it's a little bit better just to attack their hand as opposed to my own. They're making me nervous with all this draw discard. Yeah, this is definitely some kind of combo deck that uses the graveyard. Yeah, it looks like some sort of five color reanimate deck. I don't have really anything that can punish that either. Unless it's like an aura, like animate dead, but I don't is that even in the game? <laughs> is that even a thing? Okay, Kogla kills like this, but do I really care? It lets me swing, but then I'm not casting the cool card, so I think I'm just going to say go. Ooh, what are they doing? What are they doing here? What are they doing? Gaining three life? What is this? What are you doing? Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't think that's worth using a treasure, but I don't know their hand. don't think a counter on Kenrith is uh, make or break in the bank. I actually like my whole hand, but even still, it's probably always right to loot. I think I'm actually going to keep this, because if they do reanimate this Avacyn, this is actually an answer to it. Feels bad. Carnotaur is worse than a land. Okay. Yep, so they did, in fact, do that. They can give it haste with Kenrith's ability, but they choose not to. Alright, I took out some of the one drops and Carnage Tyrant for Explore, Growth Spiral, and some Mana Rocks. I think that's a little bit better, so let's try that. Okay, Yargle's just an 18 6. Uh, it's actually hard for them to swing with it. I think I'll keep this just because I have something big. I don't have a lot of small stuff, though. All right, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what happens. Tails End might be a good card. I'd rather not Mold Drifter off the Gilded Goose, but maybe that does make sense. Altar of Dementia, so they can mill themselves or me for 18? Suppose they could also, like, double the power of that card. Do some pretty degenerate stuff. Okay. So I have my commander next turn. Assuming any... Dissuading any uh, disaster here. 
no mana for the storm tamer to protect it, but so four, five, six, seven. Oh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna untap. <gasps> okay, can my opponent beat comma? Looks like they cannot. All right. Good news. Uh, yep. What does this specialize into? Nothing, really? Okay, sure. This has Ward 2, so if I want to tap it with a comma token, got to be... Wary of that. Alright, so do I just cast this? Um. Hmm. I think it's a good idea to leave up Tail's End at the very least. Let's swing like that. Everything has Vigilance, so it makes sense to swing. And then tap later. They didn't block the Storm Tamer, even though that has Reach. That's odd. That's incredibly odd, actually. Okay, I'm going to put a stop there, and I'm going to... Alright, yeah, I was about to say, uh... It's a small thing. I shouldn't have swung with it. I forgot I had reach until I swung, but... Like, next turn, I'm going to tap three of their lands with my, uh... Kraken. And from there, I don't really know what they can do. I don't know what's going on, but... Let's see, one, two... They couldn't have cast this. Yeah, don't I don't really know what was going on here. Specialize. Yeah, I don't know. Didn't see enough stuff. GG. I actually thought about playing Toski today. That's funny. It's kind of like my commander, except except uh, it it isn't actually not not at all. Not at all. Uh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. This has everything except, like, two more mana sources. Galta is a very good thing, though. Galta is... Galta's good. Galta's probably good enough where I don't feel bad about... not having other things to do. Please don't play a mana dork? Okay, fine. I think I'm going to swing. No, that's, that doesn't make sense. This can be better later. It also makes my uh, Galta cheaper. By like a lot. They can play... <sighs> Alright. I'm just going to Tails End. Oh, I can't tails in. Toski's uncounterable. Yikes. Where where am I sometimes? Alright, at least I'm not max punished. I mean, I still get to play something. I can block this forever as well, so that's not an issue. Uh, yeah, I'll just leave up the activation on the spirit. Oh, look. The best possible <laughs> planeswalker ever. Sweet. We did it. It's pretty rudimentary, but means a lot more to myself when I make it. Make it myself. Alright, I'm on the play. Okay. Yeah. This is a good hand. It has an Ulamog in it. You're never upset with that, right? Unless you are. Okay. Protection from multicolored, so it can block Omnath over and over. I won't really gain a bunch of life off of it, though. Oh. 
Oh, I guess I will actually. Never mind. Okay, so I kind of want to play this first, but that probably probably just doesn't make sense. So do I sacrifice this? I don't think I do. I can't be convinced that's a correct play. Sure. Alright, so I swing first, right? No reason not to. Everything's got vigilance. Don't mess that one up. Let's play this first. Yep. Okay. Um, I think I will... Alright, nice. I was going to say, I think I will uh, sacrifice the Hope of Geoper so they can't do anything. But... Yeah, then the next turn I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I swing for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then I... Wait a minute. Non-creature spells. Okay, so they could probably just cast Omnath. Which is probably what they would do. I mean, it's the only thing they can do if I do this, barring any other creature in their hand. So maybe it doesn't make sense to do that. Does Crater Hoof kill them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I swing with two creatures, and they both get plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So 14 from the Crater Hoof, plus another five, 19, 20, 21. Swing for 21, they can soak four. Yeah, Crater Hoof would have actually killed them. Cool. Crater Hoof would have killed him. It also would have killed him if I sacrificed the Hope of Geoper, because I would still have enough, and that would deter any um, Sweeper. And I have enough Trample to get through a 4 4. On the draw with no Minidork, so this is like two turns slower than the last game. Um, hmm, yeah, all right, fine. Probably going to play the Cold Steel Heart next turn. So, as much as, like, this seems decent... I'm going to do this instead. Mesmeric Orb? What do you do? Oh, okay. This is the one that just, like, they, they instantly win the game right when they mutate. I've played against this before. i played against this before. doesn't matter what I scry on top, because it just gets milled by the Mesmeric Orb. Green or blue? I guess green? I mean, there's a lot of blue in my hand. But I think a second green source is just a little bit better right now. I believe you can Tails End Mutate, I think. Uh, could be wrong. <laughs> Alright, never mind. Can't Tails End anymore. They have... Uh, green spells are uncounterable. So there goes that. Found a land anyways. I can get Uro going, like, indefinitely. Which is pretty cool, but... I don't know how exciting that is. Let's do this. This makes sense to me. Yeah, I think we're too slow. I think I'm too slow here. Maybe if I draw a big creature or something, but so far, not happening. Alright, so I can get Uro in play. Ah, uh, go away.
Uh, don't think I want another land. I found one anyways. Okay, so I guess I'll leave up Tails in for whatever reason, but doesn't really matter too much. I would love this card, but it's going to get milled. And a pass. This is green spells, not green abilities. But I don't know if mutate... I really just don't know how it works. Really don't know how it works with Tails End. Can they make this like a... Opponent picks up a land? Oh, that makes sense. They need a land to do the thing with the stuff. Sure, yeah. Fair enough. Mutate is seven. One, two, three, four. They have it with this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What are they reanimating, though? Corpse Knight, Rustine, and this? They're not actually reanimating that much stuff. So this really isn't all that big of a deal. Uh, I will swing with Uro, because I can just kind of recast it pretty easily. And obviously drawing cards is always nice. Yep. Do I do this? Yes. I don't think I'm casting Earl this turn. Yeah, I'm always going to leave up this Tails in, so... Memory Lapse is a good one. And I cannot tap this final blue spell. Can I cast Uro still, actually? Oh, I can. Right. Yes. That makes sense. Makes sense to me. Well... Okay. I don't, yeah, I mean, we can find out what happens when I tails end it. I have no idea. But I'm pretty sure it's, like, still a spell. I'm, like, very certain it's still a spell. Yep. Yep, it counts as an uncounterable spell. Alright, so I can't do anything. So, I mean, I basically lose. Could have cast it anyways to test, but... I've never not lost after this thing has been put into play, so... I don't know, maybe I can... I have to Tails in the Crater Hoof Behemoth trigger? It's not even lethal, actually, is it? I don't think Crater Hoof... No, it is lethal. Crater Hoof would be lethal here, yeah. Uh, wait, I can Tails in the ability. I forgot, right. I can just Tails in the ability. And then their commander's stuck in play. I totally forgot. Never mind. Yeah, alright, we're in it. That's awesome. That's hilarious. And if they swing and block or whatever, or if they block with the death touch, I actually get to do that again with another counter spell. Um Yeah, I'll swing with everything. Opponent actually wants to get rid of my commander instead and keep their commander around? That's curious. I mean, they gain five life. I'm 
Jinkataxia seems pretty good. Portal to Phyrexia seems pretty good. I can only keep one of these, so I guess I'll, keep, I'll take that one. Discard you. Play a land. I can play this and leave up Memory Lapse. I cannot play that. All right. They have to have another Mutate spell, right? Yes, it, the only way this works is with Mutate specifically. So they need another Mutate spell. Unless I'm tripping. Pretty sure that's how it works, though. They can sacrifice it to the tower? Alright, they play this. What does that do? What would this have done? Let's see. Yeah, what if... Res no, did they have the black, 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 black? They did. It would have killed everything but these two. Would have allowed a pretty decent attack. Yeah, I would probably always just counter this, actually. I think in this spot. My opponent doesn't have much going on after that. They can't flashback this or this. But escaping this as a... Uh, what would it, What does it escape of? It's a 12-12? And then it can... You can pay 3 to fight with it. It costs 6 to escape. 1, 2, 3, 4... Okay, they can... Escape it, but then they can't fight. But I don't have a clean answer for it on board. My opponent doesn't know I have one in hand, but I actually had no... Like, it wasn't a terrible prospect to just go for this. But cool. We made it. I actually beat it. I mean, it didn't resolve, so that's why I beat it. <laughs> Who needs it? I'm on the play. This is an extremely greedy keep, but I don't feel bad about that. Alright, so probably explore next turn. More important than a Mind Stone. Probably. Because if I don't hit lands, I lose anyways. Alright, probably lose anyways. <laughs> hmm. Oh, well, alright, alright. Um, Mind Stone... And you. And you. And no attack. So I need a land, and then maybe I can scam them with the Crater Hoof. Been a ways away from that, though. Looks like they don't have anything. Never upset about that. Um, I can keep this in hand to ninjutsu, and I think that's a little bit better than not doing that. curious. Okay, so I can cast this, and then I have two attackers, and they're both 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, plus 6, plus 6, so 12, plus 9, 23, minus 1. So I can do 22 damage. Not enough. Uh, I think I'm almost not willing to let this, uh, like, hit me. Actually, maybe this makes sense. Let's do this. Let's see what they do. It's a pretty easy block, but I get like, I just kind of get to do this. So blue, blue, and blue. Um, 
and I would like another copy of this. And this has flash. Should I crack this? Maybe I can... I don't have to do it right now, right? I don't have to do it right now. I can wait. There's no reason to do it now. Nissa. Alright. Okay, sure. This just puts a five drop in their hand? From... That was in their graveyard? Oh, they milled it with the Wayfinder. Alright, yep, that's, like, really good. Yeah, I don't want to... I want as many untapped creatures as possible when I go for my Crater Hoof Behemoth, which involves not getting rid of this Mind Stone. Okay, let's say I play a land, which, I mean, I'm always playing this, right? Yep. Uh, four, five. So I'm tapping all but two. All right, that is lethal. I don't have to count that. I know. That's lethal. Oh, I'm tapping all but three. All right, never mind. Yep, this, this gets them. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> oh, man, that's sweet. All right. Yeah, maybe I could have played the brute first. Uh, I don't. I don't know. Might not matter. What's one damage, anyways? Uh you. I mean, it's the same amount of damage, anyways. If they didn't play a blocker or anything. Okay. So I need a land to cast my commander, and then I can cast this afterwards. Alright, don't kill my commander. What else does this do? Sacrifice it? Or a sapling, turn the battlefield. Okay, sure. That has haste. Yes. I don't have a block that I'm willing to do. This would be good to play, but, I mean, this is really good, so. Um. Sure. I mean, I missed some damage. I didn't do the village vigilance attack. I did miss that. Not a big deal, though. Well, maybe it is. Who knows? I'd be surprised if they didn't have any removal. It'd be kind of weird. Okay, they don't have removal, but they have something that makes it so I actually can't swing at them. Okay, so we're kind of at parity till something happens. My opponents just surveilled away a little... Oh, right. Yeah, the, <laughs> I guess Liliana's not actually very good here. That is fair. 
It is, in fact, a little on the weak side. Okay, my opponent's paying a whole bunch of life. Interesting. They should probably wait till, like, my end step to do that, because it's not like they're drawing the card they find. So it would kind of make sense to wait. It's actually very odd. Uh, is there a combo that comes with this? I don't know what's happening. Okay, now my opponent's dead on board. Where they weren't before. Oh. Okay, yeah. I guess my opponent... I mean, what? They're not... Hold on. I swing all out, and they didn't do that. They just block block. I trade probably with the Doom Whisperer. They block here, they block here, they block here or something. They take three. This game was not over at all. I mean, maybe their hand was terrible, but... They could have found something eventually. Like, this wasn't... Well, actually, this is also really bad here. Yeah, to be fair, they didn't hit anything good. They could have played this. I didn't have a solid way to deal with it. Right? Because I can't fly, and... That was, that was weird. I'll take it. Uh, okay. Does it, I guess, I, uh, yeah, right. Okay, I don't really know what that, that's about. They could have sacrificed it to make this a 2-2. Sure, they put an artifact in the graveyard. Sacrifice an artifact. Uh huh. They get Sword of the Meek? Uh, sure. So their deck is a boatload of 1 1s. I mean, their commander's a 1 1. I guess that makes sense. It's not really the most powerful thing I've ever seen, but that's neat. Yep, this just comes into play with a sword on it. Sure, you you got it. You got it. First time in history a Sword of the Meek got attached to something that wasn't a Thopter. Okay, um, probably a good idea to leave up Counterspell. Well, whenever you can, it probably makes sense to do that, so. Swing. I doubt they're going to block, but... I mean, it's just one damage. I'd rather just hold them back. I might discard Nezahol, because I really need the land to this uh, discard spell. Oh, this isn't a discard spell. Excuse me, this is a weird reanimate spell. I gotcha. Do I need to kill this? I think I'm going to counter this, actually. It looks funny, but given the power level of what I've seen, it probably makes sense to stonewall their commander. And I will do as such. Alright, let's, oh, let's go to combat, poke. And I can play this. Alright, well, assuming they don't have an answer to my commander... They seem more interested in dealing with this anyways. Nezahal seems decent. They don't seem to have a lot of non-creature spells, so Nezahal's not exactly drawing a bunch of cards, but it's better than really anything else I'm doing, right? Alright, um, not swinging with this. Let's tap you, one, two... Oh, wait, nope. Let's uh do it the slow way here by poking first. One, two, three. 
and I don't have anything to naturalize. I'm not going to naturalize a sword of the meek. doesn't really make a lot of sense. So they can make this jury so massive it one-shots me. That I'm, I'm sure is possible, which is kind of cool. They can sacrifice the Sword of the Meek to return Spellbomb, which in turn slowly gets Fanatical Firebrand. It's like a loop there, but it's very slow. Like, super slow. I am not upset with that much mana being invested, and I'm not upset with this spell either. They draw two, I draw one. Or actually, they only draw an extra one because they have to replace the big score, so we both essentially just draw like one extra. Okay, this is another instance where we both just draw a card. Sure. Do I have favorable attacks with Nezahal? Probably. I don't really care if Jury gets reset. I don't think that's a problem. Maybe it is. It kills my commander. But it's always going to do that if they swing anyways, right? They are willing to trade. They want to put 5 damage into something. I am fine with losing my commander right now. Okay, so they sack that. They get the spell bomb back. But that doesn't do anything. There's no reason to do that. There's no like rush to sacrifice there. Uh, okay, sure. Oh, okay. So now it's a 7. And it can attack Nezahal. And it's probably okay to... You know, they have a Scrap Trawler now. Ay ay ay. Yeah, my hand is not good enough, in my opinion, to... Uh lose Nezahal. Like, this growing rights is good, but I'd rather just keep my already resolved threat safe and sound. This goblin engineer is a problem. They didn't sacrifice that to the Wolf Strider. A little bit of a whoopsie there, huh? Uh, any reason to hold on to this? I don't think so. Don't think so. Spectral Sailor can draw cards. Probably wind up doing that. I mean, there's a reason to not hold on to the... I mean, I could have held on to it so... I can draw enough to protect Nezahal, because Gilded Goose isn't exactly doing anything. Yep, that was obviously a mistake. Because now I can't get a third card in my hand. There's nothing I... I don't think there's anything I could draw right now, but... Maybe there is? I don't think so. No. Alright. Yeah, I could have protected it. Maybe that was something I should have looked into doing. Past that point, though. Kind of forgot that was a, a thing that could happen. Yeah, that was actually... Yeah, I probably wanted to keep that. Probably wanted to keep it. Alright, well, never mind. We just found something ten times better. Uh, what do we hit? Just the creatures in play? I mean, yeah. Let's, let's actually get rid of this stupid sword. Yeah, alright. I was about to say, my opponent's gonna scoop no matter what I target. I could literally hit two lands, set them back really far, and they'd scoop as well. But, yeah, that's probably just... Are these the right targets, though? Let's actually think about that. This is going to be a little bit annoying. Um, just because it loops with the Engineer. But if I deal with the Engineer, I guess this isn't a problem. 
Yeah, I don't know. There's there's just not much they can do to get past an Ulamog anyways. Like, if it attacks twice, they're dead. If they have no answer to it, it just doesn't matter. But, yeah, the, the mistake was playing my goose, so I couldn't keep this alive. I would have lost as access to this and this, but that's, I mean, that's fine. Cool. Okay, so I really like this commander. I have never seen anyone ever play it. It's definitely very different from, like, of all the blue-green... I like blue-green. It's just cool that I can play a blue-green deck that is definitely very different from anything I've ever played because it's playing a ton of, like, one-mana nonsense things, right? Like, all this weird stuff just to have a ton of one-mana um, mana-producing permanents that then, in turn, can cast all of these, which is uh, really, really good. Also, yeah, this might be a deck where Nezahal is pretty justifiable because after you, you get going, you can pitch all this poop to your Nezahal. So that, that seems pretty nice. Um, I never actually hit anyone with Ancient Silver Dragon, but anytime I would have, it would have been nice. Gnawbone's weird because I already have a ton of mana to cast everything at this point. If I'm hitting my opponent with a Gnawbone, I'm probably fine and I don't need other giant things in my hand. And if I do have other giant things in my hand, it's pretty likely I can cast them without the treasure tokens. So, I don't know. But it's a giant flying threat, right? It, it's hard to... There's not too many in Historic yet that are, like, that big and efficient and all that stuff, right? I mean, the treasures are still kind of useful <clears throat> useful if I'm casting Uriel or something like that. But, I mean, I like this. This was actually really cool. The Counterspell package felt fine. Tails End saved me, actually. Uh, counterspell did once as well. I, actually, I think all of the Counterspells saved me one time each. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. So yeah, uh, the two mana ramp spells are probably worth it, right? You're trying to get this into play as fast as possible. Um, so that probably makes sense. This is basically just a very slow uh, Keenan that requires all of this stuff to happen from hand as opposed to out of your deck, right? Like, it's just Keenan, but slow, like super slow. Actually, it's like so much slow, slower. I started playing against things I've never seen before. So I don't know if there's like a tier C or tier 3 bracket where I was playing, because I was playing against commanders I don't ordinarily see, uh, which is actually pretty cool. The power level felt a little bit, you know, kind of relative to the... the the best playing against the best were like the, the bottom playing against the bottom. It felt like I was playing against a relatively powered powered things, and I did pretty well. I won 10 games, and I lost, I think, 4? Um, so it actually did pretty well for the things it was pitted against. So if you do like this style, this is probably it's probably pretty good, and it's really fun. I liked, I liked everything I this was doing, and there's certainly some refinement that could uh, happen, probably. Some refinement. But as it was, it was good. So, yeah, let me know what you thought about the list. Let me know uh, if you have one, what, what's different about it. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.